Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. I'm Blaze Stewart, architect at Winelect, and today we're going to be looking at Azure App Service Migration Assistant for moving applications out of IIS onto Azure App Services. Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a quick video on Azure App Migration Assistant. This is a tool that you can use to create assessments and also do migrations into Azure App Services. This is the first tool that we're going to be looking at in our series on Azure Migration Services that are integrated into Azure, but this one's a fairly straightforward tool. I'm just going to show you the assessment part because that's what we're going to be looking at, and we'll talk about migrations at a later point whenever we actually start migrating apps into Azure. But this tool is very easy to use, so I'm going to do a a quick overview of what it does, and then I'll show you how to use it. And it's going to basically just give you a report that will tell you what you need to do to get your app ready to run on Azure App Services. So the tool is part of the assessment process that we've been talking about. Last week, we talked about doing discovery and then doing an inventory of everything that we need to take, take into account whenever we're doing a migration into Azure, such as business process, apps and infrastructure, and so on. So this would be about discovering things related to apps and infrastructure. And it's specifically targeting something that's going into platform as a service, so Azure App Services. And we're gonna be doing a more in-depth video on when to choose one over the other and why you might wanna choose platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. But for now, we're just looking at tools and we're gonna be assuming that you're gonna be moving into Azure App Services. So this is going to do an assessment against an application running on IIS and see how it looks if we're gonna be running in Azure App Services. And they can also provide a migration if you want, but we're just gonna be looking at the assessment today. So the basic flow of the tool looks like this. We start off with one of our platforms that is supported by the tool. It supports Java, PHP, and .NET. It's gonna be looking at PHP and .NET on Windows, but you can get Java for Windows and Linux. It's still a preview, but the features are still there. And it's basically gonna look at the applications running in their current state in their current environment. So to get this to work, you generally have to download a utility onto the, the platform that you're gonna be running the application on. So this would be your servers. If you don't wanna do this on a production server, I recommend doing it on a QA server uh, or uh, at worst a, a dev server, but you wanna be as close to what you expect it to be running in production. So once you have your platform uh, running and your application is running in that platform, then you download and install the utility, and then it runs an assessment report against that utility, uh, against that particular application that you wanna uh, migrate into Azure. And that's basically just going to check it against a bunch of rules that it's going to do an evaluation for. And those rules vary depending on which platform you selected. And we'll look at the report that we're gonna generate from our PHP app. But what you end up with is just a report. And then that report then will show you what needs to change for your application to run successfully on Azure. And there might be a lot of things that you have to change, there might be nothing. So there's some variability here depending on what you're actually trying to migrate into Azure. And sometimes this can be a good thing to do before or you consider infrastructure or platform as a service because if you don't have the time or the budget to refactor uh, then you might just want to go with something like infrastructure as a service or maybe something like containerization rather than trying to go into native app services. And we'll get into the details of all that in future videos as when you might want to use one over the other, but that's one reason you might want to consider it. Is after you do this assessment though, then you can use that utility to migrate into Azure. And it will basically just copy your app from its current uh, hosting into an Azure app service. And then you can go and then reconfigure the application in the cloud to run whatever uh, you're running in that application. If you need to change some things like database settings or security settings, et cetera, to make it run in the app service environment rather than running in your IIS configuration, wherever that might be. Now I have here my virtual machine that I'm gonna actually be doing this demo on. This is Windows Server 2019 and I have a PHP app running on this machine. So to get the Azure App Service Migration Assistant, you can just simply go to the web page right here at that URL, and you can just download it for your respective framework. So this one right here will do uh, both Windows, will do PHP and, and .NET apps on Windows, although it just says .NET uh, applications in the download. And then you can download App Service Migration for uh, Linux and Windows right here respectively. And so depending on what platform you're using, just download the appropriate utility and install it according to the instructions that's going to say. Now, once you have it installed, you can launch the utility 
from your start menu if you're using Windows, or you can run it from the command line on Linux. Now, it's pretty straightforward. So once you launch it, it's going to start up. It's going to say to find the website. And if you have more than one website, it would list those here, and you can just simply select this uh, website. And then you can say next. And what this is going to do is just going to run a report. Now, this report is going to show you uh, a bunch of different things that you might need to change for your application to run. Now, this is really what I'm mostly interested in for an assessment. Now, it does give you a wizard for migrating this back into Azure if you so choose to do that. Today, I'm not going to be doing that. I just want to look at the report and look at the things that it's going to be looking for. So in the report, it's basically going to be looking at the the actual frameworks that you're using in that. So it's going to look do analysis on the code. It's going to look at the frameworks, make sure they're supported by app services. And the ASA API filters right here would be useful if you're using those in your application. So if you have custom ASI, ISA API filters, those could be problematic for Azure App Services. So you have to be careful to make sure that they are supported. And generally, that's going to be a part of the framework anyway. So that's generally not a big deal. So that can not be something you have to worry about. And it's going to be checking for some other things like protocols, TCP, TCP ports, and things like that. Now, protocols and TCP ports and things like that would be other things other than HTTP because App Services isn't going to be able to support FTP and so on in the apps itself. And the other thing it's going to be looking for is things like single app pools, authentication, PHP versions, uh, versions of your platform, certificates, etc., to make sure all of those things check out. And if those do check out, then you will be able to go. Now, if you're going to migrate into Azure App Services, you're going to see a success. You should have a success or warning, and it will allow you to migrate. If you have any errors, it's going to prevent you from migrating. You'll have to be able to correct those errors. Uh, before you can put this in Azure App Services. And that's something that you want to be able to work through that punch list as it goes through. Now, I'm getting a warning here, and this could actually prevent my application from running in App Services, but it's not a problem with the application. It's more dealing with the configuration of this particular one. And that's because this is using localhost for a database server. So the localhost database server is where this particular application is looking for its database. And if I was going to run this in a production environment, I would have to migrate my database up to Azure or create some kind of hybrid connectivity or whatever. I probably want to migrate it up to Azure and use something as a service there on Azure. So given that this is using MySQL, I would probably want to use Azure SQL for um, Azure SQL database for MySQL on Azure or MariaDB because those are two compatible databases for this particular application. And once you have that, you can migrate your data and your application as well. We'll be looking at the, at the data migration assistant in a future video. But for today, we're just basically looking at this report and seeing what you need to do. So once you have this, you would take the output from this and you want to capture this and then make this a part of your assessment, part of your data gathering so that whenever you get ready to do your migration, you have this in mind and you can plan for the changes that you need to make according to what this assessment's are going to be reporting back. So if it's a small application and you're not a part of enterprise, go ahead and migrate it. But if you're part of an enterprise planning and you're trying to migrate a lot of applications into Azure, run this utility, just get the assessment, print, print the, the results, do a screen grab, whatever it might be, and then take that and then make it part of your planning process, which is what we're going to be talking about in future videos as well, and how you create a plan for migrating apps into Azure. If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com, and there you can find about services that Wintelect offers, including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available, and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the One Mule, and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect Now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure-related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.